Welcome to the Wasteland News Network. This episode takes place inside the public test server and does contain story spoilers. Hopefully you've already watched the previous episode on Protocol Adonais. This has even more information, especially when you go to revisit Ares after you complete that daily quest. And it also will explain why, hopefully, the um, imposter sheep squatches are multiplying. Just can't get enough of me, eh? Well, I owe you one. Go on, talk away. You've earned it. Spent my entire life before the bombs being afraid of dying. Had me doing stuff that, even today, I'm not proud of. I pushed everyone away. Except the fear. That never left. All alone, except for me and the fear. The most frightening thought was dying alone, forgotten. No friend to read my eulogy. So, I made a plan. If the moment came, I'd record one myself. It ended up going on a little longer than expected. In the end, I guess it's just a journal of my thoughts. And instead of proving my death, it's proof I'm still alive. Cool name though, right? Okay, fine. All these secrets are getting heavy to lug around all day. Bish wanted Lewisburg for some natural gas deposit under it or something. I, a loyal and brilliant employee of theirs, happened to come from there. Since I had sold my soul to the man already, it wasn't far beyond me to comply. Even if a little maliciously. What started as an attempt to utilize a local legend to scare people off, spiraled into me falling into my old ways. Obsession, fear, paranoia. Became so obsessed with finding the real Sheep Squatch that I made some unfortunate miscalculations. Many years and multiple spit-roasted sheep squatches later, I emerged the man you see today, unafraid and no longer alone. Oh, I know. It's been bugging me for a while now. Maybe you heard my, uh, breakdown at Scoot's cabin? I'm not sure how, but I think it's reproducing. The special program I installed, it could... well... Ah, I'm sure it's nothing. You've got to admit, I've been real patient about revealing my tragic origin story. Pretty proud of myself. I ate multiple sheep squatches. Kinda stringy, but has a unique mouthfeel. Gotta watch for quills, though. Ouch. I don't have the courage to face Shelly in person just yet. But I did leave a letter with Carver. Next time he heads back, I asked him to deliver it to her. He's a good kid. Spending time with him has been... pretty fulfilling, actually. He's more of a fainting lamb than a sheep squatch, and that's all right by me. Preferable, actually. See you around. So a little bit more information there, courtesy of Ares and Project Adonais. So let's talk to Carver. Oh, hi. <clears throat> Hello. Don't let him hear you saying that. Trust me. Things have been good, though. I thought he was scary and strange before, but after spending some time together, he's really not scary at all. I definitely still think he's strange, though. Maybe even stranger than I imagined, but in a good way. I'm trying to convince him to visit home with me soon, but he needs some time, I think. But I really ought to thank you for the part you played in all of it. So, seriously, thank you. I've been great, all things considered, I mean. I can't stop looking at this lighter. Hard to believe it was his. 
I asked my mom about it, and Shelly too. There was a lot to say, and I'm really glad it's all out now, you know? And now we take our final visit back to Vinny for a wrap-up on all of the daily quests. Oh, goody. The Wonder Kind is back. Something you need to know? Keep your eyes peeled. Or just did a further way down the bags under my eyes. That would depend on who's we're talking about. I saw him beat a blood eagle into the ground with a hand trolley, so yeah, I'd say he's back in fighting form. Well, the dead eye is back, that's for sure. Still toting that goofy old gun, though. All the way back to her old self. Ain't gonna pretend I know what you did, but you saved me a good chunk of hassle. He's back to pouring the drinks and telling his stupid stories again. And back to being the pain in my neck that he usually is. So yeah, he's good now. Back to his usual annoying self. He told me what he did. I tried some. Seems good enough to sell, so why not? Seemed to be in a good mood last time I saw her. Ain't been hearing anything bad either. So whatever you did worked out. What's that over there? He's coming around. Me and him had a chat. He's got to grow up sometime, you know. Nice of you to not pawn off that lighter, too. Ah, everybody else is doing all right. With Joe at the helm, we're normally running pretty smooth. We're about back to that now, thanks to you. Granted, my nephew Luca will always be a pain. And Ares will always be a creep. But, uh, let's see. All right. There's Minerva and Tommy. Hard to pin down. When I see them, they always seem cheaper. She's got good deals, too. Make sure you peruse if you bump into her. Oh, and if you see Tommy Tentos? <laughs> well, I know he can't count that high. Tell him he still owes me 50 caps. Yeah, I bet. Well, everyone, thanks so very much for watching this series of Vinny's Daily Quests, the Cost of Business Quests. Thanks so very much for watching, and I'll see you out in the wasteland.